What is good boys? I'm finally back. Welcome back to the channel. I apologize for the lack of uploads. Look, to be honest, man, I went away for a little bit. I just lost a bit of motivation, but I'm planning to come back and hit it hard for next year. So don't worry about any of the ongoing series if you are interested in those or if you have been watching them, I do plan on continuing them. So thank you for your patience and your support for everyone who watches this, even if it's not a lot of you. I really appreciate you guys. So today, something different. I have dabbled a little bit in my career, but not really with the build slash my park or online or anything rec like that sort of scene of 2K. But today I thought I'd share a build that I just made recently. It is a very fun build in my opinion, and I spent a long time labbing this up. So I'm sure a lot of you guys will enjoy it too. Now it is also set up to where you can tweak it a little bit if you don't like exactly what I've done, which is the beauty of it. And it is of course my take on a Paul George do it all sort of versatile build. So with that said, let's hop into this and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, man. So it feels good to be back here on the channel, back on 2K. I was playing a bit of Madden and a bit of UFC and a bit of Forza over the last couple of weeks, having a lot of fun with that. So what we're going to do, of course, we're going to start here with our player name, Paul George, right-handed, 13. Of course, none of that really matters. So for the first part with the position, I actually made my version of this build a shooting guard because, of course, I wanted that, you know, combo wing sort of PG where I can still handle the ball a little bit. That said, for this video, I'm going to be showing you with small forward. It doesn't change much apart from your primary position in the NBA in my career, which I do regret. If you go this, it makes your small forward shooting guard. And of course, when I did shooting guard, I thought it would be shooting guard small forward. But because the ball handling and passing is pretty good, it actually makes you a shooting guard point guard, which of course, nothing wrong with that. If you want to do that, go ahead. Positions don't really matter this year in 2K because as a shooting guard is my primary, when I play online on rec, I still usually get put at small forward or shooting guard. So for your first setting, you're going to go up to 6'8". I did try 6'9", experimented a little bit, but there's just too many drawbacks this year. So we're going to go 6'8". We're gonna drop you down to a 213 pound weight. Now I did lab all of this up and there is reasoning behind all of this, which I will try my best to explain to you guys. I feel like a lot of build videos don't show you why you go for a certain weight or attribute or whatever that is, whatever the drawbacks might be. So 213, I really wanted that 75 acceleration. If we drop that by one, you only lose minus one to your interior defense and there's really no benefits to that. So I figure better to be heavier because we are gonna have a decent strength on this build as well. If you go one pound heavier than 213, you drop down to 74 acceleration. As I said, this is all fluid and it's made sort of as a build that you guys can tweak a little bit as much as you like. But for my build right here, we're gonna go 213. I think that's great. Now wingspan, another one. I dropped it down to 611. So the same, you know, height and wingspan as Paul George in the game and real life, I guess, if they're not lying about that, which is also gonna get you that 85 three ball, which I did throw on there and you do get limitless on bronze, but we will talk a little bit about different variations later on. So with that all said, let's continue. So first things first, we will go in order. For your close shot, we are going to put this at a 71. Now, the reason being once we apply the other finishing attributes, you'll see that you do, you do get fast twitch, you get mash on bronze at least, which means it is usable. My goal was to make as true of a Paul George build as possible to the point where everything is at least doable and usable, which is sort of how he plays in real life. And we're gonna go up to a 80 driving layup, which gives you Hall of Fame pro touch, a ton of gold badges, and also some nice layup animations. That said, once we get later on, into the video, you can up this to an 81, which gives you a DeMar DeRozan layout package, which a lot of people like. I'll show you all the different animations I use. Personally, I like the Jimmy Butler one, which you get at 78 or 79, so fine with that. Driving dunk, we're gonna go up to 87, which gets you that first tier of contact dunks, which of course we saw Paul George is big on those, definitely more so when he was younger, but still gets a body every now and then. Post control, he can work out of the post a little bit. So we're gonna go 75 just so you get a couple of silver badges there. Now the mid range, this is also when we get to an interchangeable part here. We're gonna go 82 here and then 85 on the three ball. You can definitely drop the three pointer down if you don't want that bronze limitless or if you think you can shoot really well on a lower rating. And then that can get you up to a 90 mid range, but I think this is still pretty accurate. For free throw, you're gonna go up to a 90 just because it works out with leftover points and it also gives you gold free points. So this is essentially from the shooting through to the finishing. This lets you do a little bit of everything and hit a consistent percentage from the mid range, from the three, from the line, 
lets you get some dunks, some layups, score out of the post a little bit, which Paul George can do. Now, pass accuracy, obviously he's not a point guard, but he can get you a couple of dimes, especially recently with his time in LA and Ty Lue's influence. So a 77 here gets you some silver badges and also bronze needle threader, which will save you from a fair few turnovers. Ball handle, you're gonna go max that out to 85 and then speed with ball, you're gonna get a 75. So essentially these are both there to obviously get you some good badges, but more so you will see it will offer you some good dribbling animation packages. So for perimeter defense, we'll go here first because it affects sort of everything else. For this, I went up to an 89. Now another interchangeable part here, the steel, we're gonna go up and that is going to hit an 81 which gives you a 51 interior, which is better than nothing, essentially is what I thought with a lot of these stats. Same with the standing dunk, we didn't up that anymore. It's linked to your driving. At least it's not zero. That's my mindset, right? Better than zero, which at least gives you a chance. 51 interior gives you a chance in combination with the strength rating we'll see later and also with some other badges. So you can definitely interchange those. For block and offensive rebound, these are gonna be 30s. Again, more than zero, it at least gives you a chance. And then a 60 defensive rebound. I like rebounding, I value it a lot. You can definitely drop that, but giving you that bronze rebound chaser, again, to do a bit of everything. Speed, you're gonna go up to an 81, which gives you silver, hyperdrive, and speed booster, very handy. And then acceleration, of course, we're gonna max out to that 75 spot. So a lot of the speed badges you get on silver, which I feel like is fairly accurate for PJ at this point in his career. Now strength, this one also definitely can be changed up, but I went up to a 74. It gives you a good selection of badges, including bronze bulldozer, which I have seen him do in the past just knock guys out of the way and it is something i also like doing it is very handy badge to have for vertical you're going to go up to 75 which just gets you enough for the posterizer and for those animations and with your leftover points you can go ahead and max out your stamina so i've tweaked this heaps and i've been through heaps of different variations and for me personally this is the absolute best paul george slash all around build i can find now i do kind of dislike that the builder is pretty restricted this year at least compared to some older 2ks but you know, there are certain things you can do. So if you wanted to, you could definitely drop say the three pointer to an 80 and that gets you to an 87 mid range, which can get you some additional badges. And then if you want to lower that even more, if you are confident with your three point rating, we can say 75. And then if you drop your free throw to an 80, we can get you up to a 90 mid range, which gets you a ton of gold badges. With the steel, you can also play around with this. So for example, if I wanted to drop my steel down to let's say a 72, which is where you get the bronze steel badges, I guess you can up your clamps to about a 93 and that'll get you gold clamps. So I guess that just depends on what you value more. I mean, in real life, realistically, maybe not so much anymore, but PJ definitely had that gold to Hall of Fame clamp level. So I guess it's more what you value in 2K. For me, I think steels are still pretty powerful. So I would like to have that on silver. If you think you can make it work with a bronze, that's fine. And then similarly, you can definitely flip this and you can go to, what's that, 75 clamps, 75 perimeter gives you bronze clamps and you can go 87 on your steel, which will give you all silver. You can up your interior a little bit, whatever you like. And then same with your defensive rebound. If you don't value your strength, feel free to bump that down. Going down one, you lose bulldozer. Two physical handles drops to silver. I do think having that on gold is worth it, particularly because with your 85 ball handle, you're looking at a silver unpluckable. Yeah, so I mean, I think it's pretty accurate. It can do a lot of what PG can do, which is a little bit of everything. I mean, he's probably a little bit better at each thing in real life. But in terms of the 2K builder, this is sort of the closest we can get to that. As I said, this is a perfect canvas build, essentially, even if you don't want to call it a Paul George build, you can change pretty much any of this and still go in any direction you want. Basically, if you wanted to up the block, you could do that. If you wanted to up the interior, the pass accuracy, whatever you want, really. And I think 6'8", 213, 611 wingspan is big and long enough pause on that to actually, you know, play almost any position comfortably one through three, maybe the four. So we will go ahead and continue here. Now, another reason why I went ahead and said small forward instead of shooting guard, as you can see right in the middle, you do get the Paul George comparison. You also get RJ Barrett and Karan Butler. Now, pretty generic name, just like every other 2K build, but a two-way three level threat, which is actually pretty accurate. So as I said, I made mine a shooting guard. I didn't get the Paul George comp, which upset me a little bit. Maybe I'm a bit odd, but 
that is how you get to that conclusion. You can see I have also done sort of a face recreation of Paul George, which is off a, another video I found here on YouTube. So if you guys did want me to cover that, I can do that in another video. Otherwise you can just search it on YouTube. It's not too hard to find. And so this is how you will be looking maxed out. Now, with all that said, I'm going to cut to my actual my player and show you some animations and how I'm looking. All right, so you can see here at the top, I am currently a 92 overall. Thought I'd change it up a little bit, and we went with Paul ES, which is just a little bit of a meme, but you can see it looks pretty good here. Play for the Raptors, number 13. So if we go to attributes, I'm currently at a 92 overall. I can go up to a 93. Reason I'm staying at a 92 is because the rec in this year, they've added back in a 92 and below rec which one you play against lower overall players which is a little bit cheesy but for me the main reason i do that is because it is a lot quicker to find a game particularly here in australia so it's up to you you can max them out as soon as you like but these are sort of the attributes i weighed most heavily close shot i can go without driving layup all the sort of finishing driving badges and then the 30s because they didn't cost a lot to upgrade upgrade a mid-range three free throw all the ball handling, all the physicals, the rebounding, because I like being able to do a bit of everything immediately. Helps you get those rebounds with Rebound Chaser. Steel, I probably could have upped a bit more, but that's at a 50, 30, 30, and then a maxed out perimeter. Interior is low, but as I was saying, in combination with certain things, it can actually help you out. But for example, I said, you just want it more than zero to give you a chance, right? So offensive rebounds on rec, I've gotten rebounds offensively with the Rebound Chaser and just being in the right spot at the right time. So it makes it possible. Blocks are possible in the sense that if you play good perimeter defense, you'll get back into a point. You do get the immovable enforcer badge with this build as well, as well as a high tier challenger badge. So effectively, if you play good defense, stay in front of someone as they're driving, this works more so with smaller guys, which is the benefit, I guess, of making a shooting guard. You play shorter guys. Can happen with small forwards too. But if you get back down and then they go for a layup, for example, you stay in front of them, play good defense, you keep your arm up. And then you get that animation where the ball sort of just whacks into your arm and you'll get a block. Steals, I have managed to get some steals with the 50 rating. Helps a lot when you dig in on centers. So that is usable. And then as I said, interior defense, once you get that up to your 50, you are also going to get your immovable enforcer badge, I think based on your strength rating. So that does also sort of help you from getting back down. Obviously not gonna be swatting shots out of the post, but I don't think he does that very often anyway. And then everything else sort of just lets you have a chance to do everything you would wanna do on the basketball court. So going through the badge tiers here, I do have a couple of perks and I guess floor setters and whatnot added on. So you can see those are the C tiers. Here are the B tiers. Here are your A tiers. And then for your S tiers here, this is how that's gonna look. So you have catch and shoot there. Bulldozer is a very underrated badge. I really like it. And you do get back down Punisher, which is a nice thing to have. Same with brick wall. But there is your immovable enforcer badge. Improves the player's strength when defending ball handlers and finishes. Essentially helps you from being back down. So they kind of split brick wall into these two badges this year. And then of course, as I said, you get gold challenger. So that sort of combined with clamps and immovable enforcer gives you the potential to get blocks. So now let's have a quick look at the animations that I'm using. Jump shot here I'll give you at the end so you can see that is a B and A, A minus and B minus. And it also uses the Paul George release, which is pretty cool. So if you are trying to do, I guess a cosplay, that will help. We also have PJ's free throw. Of course, that doesn't matter. That's preference. You can do whatever you want. The Jimmy Butler layup style, as I said, you can also use the Lamello one, which is pretty fancy. You get a couple of other good options there. Dunk style, I just call it triple zero one. I went through and basically picked out all of the dunks that I liked and put them into one package. PG pull up, KD spin jumper, Tatum hop jumper. We initially had the Paul George one on here, but unfortunately gameplay wise just doesn't create a whole lot of space. So I went with Tatum because you get his sidestep three animation and that step in, but I really like sort of that one there, that sidestep. So we went with that. Kobe, of course, for the post fade. Kareem with the post hook. Probably won't be doing that too much, but I think Kareem's is pretty solid. Kobe, hop shot, Paul George, motion style, and then combined with the LeBron dribble style, really sort of, he looks like Paul George on the court. John Morant pass style, T-Max highs up. That one's probably a little bit negligible because there's a few choices you can pick. Paul George, regular breakdown combo, probably not the best, but just for, I guess, the aesthetic. James Harden there because they kind of look similar, just more aggressive. Escape moves, Lamelo ball, combo jar, crossovers, De'Aaron Fox. This one does get a lot of space, but it's quite risky. You can get picked a fair bit if you don't time it right. Chris Paul behind the back, it's 
quick enough and smooth enough. I would like a slightly better one, but it's definitely usable. LeBron spin, CP Hezzy, Lucas step back. LeBron triple threat and the rest don't matter. And then as I said, here is the jump shot. So it is a 4060 Kobe PG blend, which is beautiful on full speed with a KCP lower base. And it gets you some pretty good ratings there. Yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. As I said, I apologize for the lack of uploads. Definitely going to try and up the consistency and grow even more next year. That said, this will probably be my last upload for 2023. And yeah, my first attempt at a build video, I suppose. It might not be the strongest or most meta build in the world, but it's one I have a lot of fun with and that you can definitely use online. And it's a ton of fun in my career, which is what I've been having a lot of fun with recently. And as I said, feel free to tweak whatever you like. I think it's a pretty solid canvas to get you into any sort of build that you want. Let me know what direction you guys went with, what sort of tweaks and this and that, or if you wanted to make a completely different build, Regardless, I hope you learned something and maybe you can take that on board with your build. Just trying to save you guys money so you don't waste money on a bad build or get locked out of any sort of animations or badges and make sure you guys can have fun. I think that's the main thing. But if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. I'm by no means a build expert, I guess, like a lot of the guys on here, but I am always learning and always willing to learn. So if you have any thing you want to share, feel free to let me know. Or if you need anything from me, again, feel free to let me know. So next couple of videos I'll record probably in the new year, we'll continue the Spurs and the Earth 2 My NBA series, as well as some other rebuilds. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. I hope you guys have a great holidays. Merry Christmas if you celebrate. If you don't, just enjoy the time off. Hopefully get some time off work and get to spend it with your family. Thank you guys for everything this year. I really appreciate all of you. And until next video, peace out.